Hey guys, as you can see, Dave and I are here at the boat show, and Dave, we're here at the Taco Marine uh, booth. It's it is the season. Certainly, we're talking about the GS500 outrigger. Brand new from Taco Marine here. Really, really high quality, uh, very nice set of riggers. These are made primarily for a, a bigger center console boat. Um, they allow you to do deploy your riggers and raise and lower them without having to climb up on the gunnel, which is very important. You know, it's a, it's it's an incredible uh, safety feature. Just because you know when you're out there and it can be a little bit rough, you're up and up and down, up and down. You don't want to climb up on the gunnel to have to put put things out and put your riggers up. With this, you can stay with your feet on the deck and do everything down below. You're absolutely right. You know, the cool thing that Ridge and I really like about these is, as you know, we're little tiny guys. We're not very right. tall. And to have to get up there when it's rough and fight with the riggers and potentially fall overboard. Yeah, this... It's not only you. me. I'm, you know, I'm not a real tall guy either, and it's the same for me. I, have, I fight that same battle, and everybody does. So this, this really is a great thing to keep people in the boat. These GS500s have really changed it for us. And then... The cool part too is with the graphite poles that Taco makes, yep. we have this new lock-in feature where you can actually push there, push in, twist, and now the poles are never going to fall out right. when you're making your crossing over to the Bahamas or if you're doing something in some really rough conditions. And it's spring-loaded, so it, when you push <clears> that in there and give it a, a little twist, it's not going anywhere. And also you can actually put a little ring lock on there as well if you want to keep them out behind your behind your house, it's an additional security. People can't come and take your outriggers with them whenever they want to. You got a nice little ec extra security there with that ring lock. And remember this, guys, the outrigger poles for the GS500s, they come in 20 foot as well as 24 feet. Yeah. Now, one of the things that we need to talk about is the options that we have in carbon fiber poles. So why don't you start with that one? Well, you know, for a long time, it was hard to put out riggers up on top of a T-top and a center console because they take a beating and, you know, it was a lot of weight upstairs, you know, flopping around. Well, when the carbon fiber poles came out, they took a lot of that weight out. And so you can get extra long poles up there now. They get 20 and 24 foot long poles up there without adding a ton of weight. This whole outrigger pole is only seven pounds. Wow. So it's incredibly light, incredibly strong and stiff, just stiff enough to you know make sure that your baits are working properly. They all come with these really cool patented 360 degree collars on them. And your halyards run all the way through these, these collars and each one has a little hood on it. So it keeps your halyard line in its lane it doesn't they don't switch around from one end to the other you know even though these things can go all the way around your halyards are always going to stay correct very very line. well thought out by the yep. taco no, they have a really cool line caddy on here uh -huh. at the end of the day when you pull your your uh poles down to take them in the house you, you'll have an extra a lot of halyards when they collapse and although halyard line you got to do something with it we used to just wrap it around the pole which would make a big mess sometimes now they've got these little caddies right here you just wrap your halyards up maybe put your rubber band on it hold it and you're really you're good to go and guys the reason why the collapsible poles are so great is for those of us that put our boats in a boat barn or potentially even store them in a garage now we have the ability not to have to worry about having outrigger poles sticking 20 feet behind the back of the boat when the boat's on the trailer so it really makes it a really nice thing when in regards to uh, go ahead and, and uh, storing things as well as traveling with those so this is the GS 800 why don't you tell everybody about it? Well, you know, this this incorporates the same uh, lifting mechanism that goes into the GS uh, outriggers. So it's, it's really high quality stuff, stainless steel, anodized aluminum. Best thing about it is, is you can raise and lower your antennas while standing on the deck, even at the helm. As you can see, you can just, just wind it back up and uh, get a good uh, a lift on it when you're going under a bridge or, or just putting them down or up for the day. You know, you don't have to worry about climbing up and down the gunnel. Uh, these things, these things are uh, really quick coming up and down. Doesn't take a whole lot of effort, um, and it, it has a really cool flush lock, so it's not hanging down. You know, and it's where you can hit your head on it when you're coming through. Also, it comes in an electric feature as well. Right, the GS850, which is you know 
you, you just push a switch. You don't even have to do any cranking. It's for a lazy fellow like myself. <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah. you just hit the button and they go up and down. Lights as well, you, they make the same ones for any of your uh, running lights, uh, you know. It's radio antennas, running lights, it's the same principle as our outriggers. The cool part about it is, guys, that for us, it makes our life so simple. Idling out after we've already put the boat in the water, we're not taking up dock space or ramp space and putting up our riggers or putting up our antennas. As we're idling out the channel or at the end of the afternoon idling back in, we're either putting up the outriggers or we're putting uh, up the antennas or down, depending on what time of the day it is. And some poor slimy mate doesn't have to climb up there and get all slippery and fall in on us. You're absolutely right. It's this great safety feature. Well, this is one of, you know that's going talked about all over the show. You know, it's 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 a really cool thing. It's a portable shade. You know, you can take this thing anywhere you want to have some shade uh, and deploy it. It goes, you know, a five by covers a five by six area, and you can put it in a rod holder. You can put it in a gunnel. You can do all kinds of things with it, get it real up high or even keep it down, you know, low to just do the, the, the cockpit if you want to put the kids down on a mat or something uh, during the heat of the day. It's got a really nice uh, WeatherMax 3D uh, material here that's uh, SPF 50 and, you know, you can put, they got all kinds of different mounts that you can put them up with and 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 get the coverage you need this is one that you put on your t-top right here you put it down through your through your rod holder and this little cork like thing sucks it down on and you get it up tight so that you can put this thing out over the back deck or you can use one of the extended ones they have a, a nice extended holder here that you can put in the rod holder and get it way up high you know and and and, and pin it whichever however you want what's really cool about it and the main thing that that, that sells it is the fact that you can move it around. It's not like a T-top where it's just gonna put the shade right here and then you get baked if the sun as the sun moves. You know, you have to move the boat around. You don't have to do that with these. Absolutely, the portable the ability to be able to manipulate as that sun raises and lowers is one of the things that makes it my favorite product that Taco makes. And as you can see, they have a variety of different mounts and the different ways. They sell all of this in a kit. They have this cool carrying bag, which it all stores away. I think the thing weighs somewhere between seven and 12 pounds, depending on how much, how much of the accessories that you yeah. have with inside of the bag. If you got any questions, you want to know more, just go to tacomarine.com.